because falling on hard times does not have to mean losing your home. Hey, this is Paul Pearson. I've hosted the RNB show Star Time since the very beginning of Rainier Avenue Radio, and after years of featuring tracks from the 50s through the 80s, Star Time now plays R&B and hip hop from the 1990s as well. A whole half century of soul, funk, <clears> hip hop, <throat> and more on Star Time Wednesdays at 2 p.m. on Rainier Avenue Radio. What kind of nonsense conversation are we having here? Yeah. The Neon Ghost Show. The Neon Ghost Show. Right here on Rainier. At, wait, what's it? Rainier Avenue Radio dot world. Right about now. Rainier Avenue Radio dot world. I'm so tired. I have to pee. <laughs> The Earshot Jazz Festival kicks off October 8th and spreads out over 10 Seattle stages through November 6th with concerts all around the city. All concerts live and in person, and many of them stream directly to your home. Tickets and information available up online. Earshot.org. It's the Earshot Jazz Festival 2022. See you soon. You are listening to Rainier Avenue Radio.world. Don't forget to log on www.rainieravenueradio.world. Right. Good, good, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, I am your host for this segment of Music and Life. We are doing this in conjunction with our good friends at Earshot Jazz, as well as all of our friends out there in the listening world. Uh, Earshot Jazz Festival is one of the biggest events in this region, actually nationally, uh, recognized around the world also for the good quality and the, and just the effort to, to bring and keep jazz. Uh, in the th- hot, hearts, thoughts, and minds of everyone. So I have a great show today. We have a great young artist. I'll say young artist, up and coming artist. He's already made a name for himself and he's uh, put his footprint uh, directly in the world of jazz. Uh, he's a local guy. Uh, his name is Alex Dugdale. He released an album and I did a kind of try to capture the album cover, but it's uh, kind of blurry, but it's the Alex Dugdale Dug Out album. Uh, I believe it's his first album with a group called Faye. But anyways, um, Alex is my guest uh, for this segment of Music and Life. Uh, and there's some really interesting things that we're, we're going to talk about. So um, Alex, if, you're, if he's, he will be here shortly, but um, let me get into some other things uh, now. Th- Earshot Jazz Festival has been, been going on for a couple of weeks now. And so over the next few weeks, the next couple of weeks, it'll be wrapping up. But uh, he had a, a great performance down at Town Hall. Alex did. Uh, you'll have the Holden, one of the Holden members, uh, uh, the Holden family uh, at Langston Hughes. Check the Earshot Jazz Festival schedule. Go online and check it out. Um, there's a number of like I said, acts locally that have been performing, but uh, also national acts. So if you haven't caught any act or any of the performances, try to get in there as soon as you can, uh, because it will be wrapping up fairly shortly. But uh, Alex Dugdale is a, uh, like I say, a very interesting, very talented young man. He had his uh, uh, his show on uh uh, the other day on Friday, the uh, 28th, at Town Hall. Uh, and it was an interesting uh, show because he has also incorporated an element which people would probably not guess, but he does tap. And I saw one of the performers, uh, Amon Taplin, who studied tap with my daughter at uh, Northwest Tap. Actually, I think my daughter worked with her and uh, my daughter's a tapper and um my daughter shout out to pamela yasutaki my daughter 
Uh, Northwest TAP is one of the leading TAP schools around. Um, so, it, you know, it's just uh, great to see that. But Alex also taps. He also is a fantastic instrumentalist, the saxophone. Uh, there's a couple of uh, cuts that I took off of his uh, dugout album that I think are just, you know, uh, gives me the impression that uh, he's been influenced and i'm going to ask him that question uh as soon as we get as soon as he, we get him here but i want you to hear this cut so it's it's called soul bells soul balls if um let's if we can get that up i would love to hear i would love for you to hear it and and uh, give you a little bit of understanding of why i think it's uh a fascinating piece. Uh, it comes directly off of his new album, uh, Dug Out, which is appropriate. You know, it's baseball uh, time uh, with the Mariners, the success that they've had getting into the playoffs and with, now with the World Series with the Philadelphia Phillies and the Houston Astros. So, you know, Dug Out is pretty appropriate as a term in that picture you see is Alex Dugdale. He's got his hair differently now, but he's still got that that uh, saxophone in his hand. That's an alto, it looks like. So anyways, um, as soon as we can cue it up, if we can get it queued up, I appreciate it. Um, we're going to go so <laughs>
<laughs> wow. Soul Balls off of the Alex uh, Doug Dell album, Dug Out. Uh, that was amazing. I mean, you could, if those of you who are aficionados of jazz um, can, can see and hear the stylization, really clean, really well uh, done technically, but really, you know, as they say, some really sh sharp licks in there. Um, uh, you can, well, at least me, and I'm not a scholar in the area of jazz or the lexicon of jazz, but uh, heavily influenced on bebop or hard bop for sure. Um, and uh, you can just, and that up tempo uh, mode is really, really uh, typical. Uh, bebop is, you know, again, technically um, one of the hardest uh, idioms of music to play. Uh, because of uh, technical, uh, all the, I guess you could say, all the accoutrements uh, of creative music, uh, free flowing as you're playing and you, you, you're uh, doing all the fingerings and all the uh, stylizations and everything that you're coming out of your mouth or your head uh, melds into you know, just a great, great, great treatment of the of the, of the music and that was soul bell a ball soul balls uh, off the alex dugdale album his new album a recent released with this group called fade f-a-d-e so a little bit about alex while we wait for him to get here he is a local guy raised in seattle originally um, based on the bio, he was adopted and brought to Seattle from Columbia. So his birthplace is Columbia, uh, Colombian, you know, Central South America, etc. And uh, he studied uh, music, um, but he also, and it's real interesting, um, he also fell in love with uh, tap dancing after he watched Savion Glover, it says, on Sesame Street, no less. Savion was one of the, uh, uh, you know, uh, visiting artists and stars on uh, Sesame Street and working with all the uh, Muppets there on Sesame Street. And he uh, started really young. I mean, we're talking about six years old uh, uh, with Cheryl Johnson and, and a person, yeah, Cheryl Johnson, Anthony Peters, uh, who are based in Seattle. And um, he also performed on stage. Uh, on stage with Gregory Hines when he was 11. Uh, and uh, it was uh, real interesting. He was at the New York City Tap Festival, which my daughter participates in uh, with her group, uh, Syncopated Ladies, and uh, Maud and, and Chloe Arnold. Uh, that's a real tight group. But uh, his um, musical instrumentation fascination was growing all during that time. And uh, he played the clarinet, which is what I, I played. And then I also converted to the saxophone because I liked the bigger sound. And so he gravitated toward the saxophone. And he's been playing the saxophone, you know, basically ever since. And uh, he went on to go to college, graduated from Roosevelt High School. Uh, the great, uh, I guess you could say, um, Without a doubt, Garfield and, and Roosevelt, the two schools that pretty much dominate uh, high school uh, jazz uh, nationally, as a matter of fact, Garfield and Roosevelt. Uh, Alex went to Roosevelt, uh, studied under Scott Brown there, uh, great, great um, uh, music teacher. And anyways, they um, went on to get his uh, bachelor's degree uh, in performance from e the Eastman School which is, I believe, back east. And then he um, went on to get a master's degree uh, from Seattle Pacific University right here in Seattle. And um, he's just a, for somebody his at his young age, uh, again, beginning at six years old, all the way to 11 near preteens and beyond and into his high school years at Roosevelt, and into his uh, college and university studies. I mean, this guy has has a, you know, I guess they say a trunk full of stuff that he's accomplished, uh, or a, at the at the least, a, 
a briefcase or a suitcase full of stuff he's been able to accomplish. But uh, he um, worked, and as a tap dancer, he's performed uh, with the Vancouver and Port Angeles Symphony Orchestra as a player, and then as the Rochester Philharmonic and Seattle Philharmonic, uh, Alex participated in the Disney All-American College in Disneyland in 212. He performed uh, with the Temptation, the band, such bands as the Temptations, the Pointer Sisters, and the Four Tops, as well as with John Legend, the great John Legend, Diane Walker, Chester Whitmore, Winter Marcellus, David Nate. Native Najee, Najee and others, and uh, over the past few years, 2015-16, he was an intern for Centrum, which is over there. Uh, they have a great jazz program over with Beyond in, um, at, uh, it's called Centrum, originally started by Bud Shank. But anyway, he works as a uh, band uh, teacher at Bishop Blanchett. High school within the Seattle Metro League, Metropolitan uh, School System here, Seattle Public Schools. And he's, uh, a, a, as they say, an educator with the uh, jazz, Port Townsend of Earshot Jazz, from which he's got, he was awarded the Earshot Jazz Golden Ear Award, Golden Ear Award as Emerging Artist of the Year. When he's not playing uh, or teaching, he's playing with a Cole Schuster, Greg Fair, Feingold, Max Holmberg, and John Hanson. That's, I believe, the group. I think it's called Fade. I hope, I hope you can correct me on that. But he also performs uh, with the Duke Ellington uh, Sacred Music uh, Group out of the Seattle Repertory uh, Jazz Orchestra. Uh, he ha And his own quintet is called Fade. I, I want to make that correction. But so you, you're talking about a young man who has probably seen it, done it, and continues to do it. Like I said, his latest album, his album that just was released is called Alex Dugdale Dug Out. And uh, I've got a cut out of that album. The The title track uh, is called Dug Out. So when we get that queued up, go ahead and play it. Uh, I want you to hear it. It's called Dug Out from the Alex Dugdale album, Dug Out. Here we go.
album the dug out uh great stuff pick that album up order it get it hey there's some great cuts on there these were just two of them soul balls and um dug out the dug out i mean we're talking about great stuff uh there's also uh those are cut two up tempo uh pieces but there are, you know some other ones ballad uh very much uh ballad uh flows like a ballad uh, really technically great stuff, but uh, uh, this ain't smooth jazz, folks. This is jazz. This is the real deal. Um, you can categorize it any way you want to, but this is what I consider the essence of jazz. Free, just blowing it out there, uh, technically sound, uh, but uh, filling the, I guess you say, filling your ears with so many different highlights. Just great stuff. Uh, Alex Dugdale up-and-coming young man graduated from Roosevelt High School in 2008 so he's been doing this for a few years but you know a young dude uh you know support him support Earshot Jazz this is a presentation of Earshot Jazz for their edition Music and Life brought to you by Rainier Avenue Radio Dot World in conjunction with the great folks at Earshot Jazz, John Gilbert and all the folks over there, as well as uh, we have an, uh, a real uh, ongoing, uh, wonderful relationship with uh, Earshot to uh, interview some of the artists, and there'll be others coming on. Charles Lloyd, I believe, will be coming on, uh, will be interviewed, I think, I believe. I don't, I shouldn't say I think, I believe. But uh, because Earshot Jazz Festival is this region's top, uh, as you say, top flight venue for jazz, uh, and it's known and recognized nationally and internationally. We've had a number of international artists performing. A couple, about a year or two ago, I did an interview with an individual from 
South America, I think Brazil, uh, if I'm not mistaken. My memory is bad, folks, but I, I tell you one thing. Uh, Earshot is the place, uh, your source for information about jazz. Uh, they're uh, doing a magnificent job. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to uh, uh, grab a hold of Alex. Um, I know he's been performing here at that uh, concert on Thursday, big one. And uh, but I want to again, uh, this is a an edition of Music and Life, presented by Rainier Avenue Radio Dot World in conjunction with Ear, the Earshot Jazz Festival. Alex Dugdale is the Earshot Jazz Festival resident artist, a local guy, Roosevelt High School, uh, got his master's degree at Pacific Seattle Pacific University. Not only does he play the heck out of the saxophone, he can tap too. So, I mean, my daughter, uh, it, it, like I said, is a tapper. And there are a number of people he, he's mentioned uh, in, in other uh, uh, write-ups that I've seen. Uh, I, I saw, uh, I think, I believe a name that came up uh, was Almond Tapper, like I said, uh, a friend of mine's uh, daughter, but she also studied with my daughter, Pamela at Northwest Tap. I got to put in the plug for them because they are the foremost tap school around here as well as performing arts school. So my guest, Alex Dugdale. And uh, hey, we listen to his music, the cut Soul Balls, as well as his uh, uh, album uh, title cut, uh, Doug, Dug Out. There's his picture right there. He's got his hair braided now, so he's a little bit, looks a little bit different, but uh, that's his instrument. That is his instrument. And uh, he, hey, he is outstanding. Oh, and uh, thank you, Terry. Uh, let me uh, give a shout out to Terry Della, uh, a member of the, the Della family who, whom I know. Uh, yeah, Alex, uh, you did a great job, um, Terry. Um, he, you guys did a great job over there at the middle school, at, at middle school when he was going there as well as Scott Brown did a great job with him at uh, Roosevelt. Of course, I wish he could have gone to Garfield, but that's another story. Garfield and Roosevelt have dominated the high school music scene nationally over the years. So, hey, kudos to them. So thank you very much for tuning in to Music and Life. Uh, as featured by uh, Earshot Jazz Festival resident artist Alex Dugdale. Thank you for tuning in. This is John Yasutaki, your host. Take care and enjoy the music.